Greetings, AV blog people. It is about a quarter after 1300 hours. 1314, in fact, on Monday, July 6. And we are fixing our gunky Mackie board. So we have to take the whole thing apart so that we can actually get to it because I don't know if you can see, we can't really fit deoxid down in here. It's just not going to do anything. So we gotta take everything apart. Luckily all the knobs come off easy. I got a box. And that's what we are doing today before our show after lunch. General housekeeping. We moved the shelf that was back in the corner. Took all of the stuff off of it and put it on the floor because we brought all of the records up from archives and now they are up here and now they have a shelf and they're moderately organized in that we know about what type of music is where but basically top shelf is stuff that we'll, we're actually going to listen to and this is more just so we actually have stuff so that's what we're working on today uh, more as it happens Okay, so there you have it, it's the inside of our Mackie, and uh, now I'm just going to clean every single nook and cranny of it so that it works better for you. I think it looks cool. So for reference what it looks like on the inside. Give you some closer looks in a second. That's what it looks on the outside. So we have two. This is the Mackie CR1604 VLZ 16 channel mixer. Same one. That's the same as that. So we're going to go through and use our handy dandy deoxid and uh, we're going to make it so nothing's crusty anymore. Hello, I'm back. It is now Tuesday, July 7, just before 1600 hours and I'm still working on the Mackie. I stopped after yesterday, after I used all of this guy on it, and I said, wow, this leaves a film, and um, I don't know how easy it is to see, but it does leave a film, which is fine, because deoxid is non-conductive and actually leaves a film based on what I found on the internet as a means of protection from oxification except after several years apparently it oxifies itself or oxid oh my goodness uh, it uh, it itself gets all oxidated I don't know why I said oxified um, but apparently that doesn't happen for a long time. But what I did notice is that the film picks up dust, or at least shows dust more. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but I can see it, especially in the light, because I have my handy dandy work lamp. Um, but basically, now I can see that there's dust on the board itself, not just in the pots, uh, because deoxid just comes all kinds of out of the pots, even on low, even with the most delicate touch. So I have a paintbrush here, and I'm just going to go through and just sort of brush everything away, because it has this sort of, this sort of layer of film, grease, deoxid on it everything comes off pretty easy. Again, I don't know how easy you can see it, but I can see it. 
I know. So that's what I'm doing today, and then I'm going to put it back together. Um, I don't know how bad just having little tiny dust particles are, but uh, seeing as how much of a pain it is to get it off because you need to take all of the screws out of the sides and out of the back. So here's the, the back plate. You gotta take all those screws out and then there's a whole nother um, all of these holes here that are in seemingly random places you have to use this tiny little guy to get them out. And it's a pain. So I would rather do this painstakingly and meticulously the first time and have it please hope please 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 work as well as we want it to be working uh, the first time. And then I won't have to do it again. I won't have to open it all up, even though I'll probably do it again uh, with the other one, which also has crazy uh, crazy connectivity issues due to oxidized pots and whatnot. I'll probably do that with a, uh, maybe with Katie, or have the camera on me the whole time or something. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to brush a lot of the dust away. I'm probably going to test all of the the knobs and faders again. Um, I actually used the, the fader deoxit with the faders. Um, I'll probably get the brush in there too. I noticed there was some schmutz in there as well. Uh, but that's what I'm doing today. Will is working on some narration stuff. Katie is working diligently on the first radio show that's actually a specific radio show and not just Will and I drawing, which will be called What's That Noise? Which will examine all of the sub and micro genres that you roll your eyes at and say, why is that even a thing? It will be exploring why that's a thing and if it matters and whatnot. And that'll be happening on a weekly basis now that I've built up some shows and once she gets the, the theme music ready, that will be a thing that we do weekly for your enjoyment. I'm thinking that will be on Wednesdays, but stay tuned uh, to the blog and to the IRC and the live stream, and you'll know exactly when it's happening, when it's happening, but it will try to be a very regular thing. So that's all I got for you now. I'm going to continue doing whatever the heck it is that I'm doing and hopefully making things better. So, until later. It is... Oh, uh, what is it? 17.26 hours. Still the 7th. And the headphones and relieved look on my face indicate that I've actually done something right. And, uh... Sir Mix-a-Lot. And, and the, ca the, the tape deck works. Cassettes can now be played. Uh, so we have that going. The boss. Um, but as, as, as you cannot hear nor see, the Mackie works. There's there's no problems, and we've been listening to it for a while, and there's no problems. So, there we go. I think what I'll probably do is probably take some time next week after Katie is done doing music and sound design stuff and take it apart with her and show her how to do all of that stuff. But for now, we can listen to Sir Mix-a-Lot on the radio on repeat for hours and hours and days and days. So, stay tuned for that. That's about this day. See you tomorrow.